mean, a bit of a backstory on us, really, um, for, for those that do not know. Um, so Linkpool was founded in 2017, you know, really just sort of after Chainlink came on the space. We like to sort of see ourselves as like the OGs within the space, really. You know, we've been doing this a long time. We was one of the first three node operators on mainnet. So back in the day in 2019, when, when Chainlink launched, you know, it was one of the first ones. You know, we're proud to say as well, like, you know, we are one of the largest node operators and we serve pretty much every main net that there is on the, on the Chainlink network and are happy to uh, sort of scale as, as Chainlink does. You know, we're really well positioned to sort of build on that and help Chainlink grow as a network. So, you know, over the years, we, we're not just an node operator, but we're a platform developer as well. So, you know, it's three foundational community tools that we've been building over the years. You know, the, uh, the market, which is, we sort of see it as like a BI platform, like business intelligence, great for analytics. You know, for us, it, it's good for sort of seeing like future trends and sort of where things are going within the network. NAS, which is a nice infrastructure play, so like two click deploys of Chainlink nodes. You know, for us, it's great to see that sort of develop. And even though we don't really actively advertise it, you know, it sees great usage. And it's a fundamental tool for people hackathons and sort of developers getting on board with Chainlink who don't really have the, the DevOps experience and you know the sort of um, up and coming platform sort of um, highly anticipated but obviously you know something that we've been working on for a long time the staking platform but uh, you know it's, it's important to stress that everything that we're doing you know we're and it's sort of within the ethos of the Chainlink network like we have our you know vision and you know we're an independent uh, like platform developer on the Chainlink network. So you know for an economy of scale and the way we think about Chainlink and if you think about like Sergey's presentation in on you know yesterday in the first day and all sort of the the value and sort of the industries that are going to be revolutionised by Chainlink in the future. You know it's like how we best position ourselves to help that and lower the barrier of entry. One of the first things that we sort of talked about back, you know, when we first started is lowering the barrier of entry and sort of helping the, ad the adoption of the Chainlink network as a whole. So for us, you know, if you think about the core premise, like Chainlink Labs as a whole, you know, it sort of builds the, the foundation right and the protocol, the, the, the core services and the product. You know, within any network, like if you think about uh, any blockchain network, you need a community of developers and builders on top of that to really help the network grow and to scale. And so, you know, we see ourselves being a big part of that. And that cycle is what creates a, a, a positive feedback loop. Um, you see more people getting involved, creating more tools and services. It helps uh, adoption. It creates new use case. More people get involved. And, you, you know, you get a, in a never-ending cycle of, you know, like positive feedback with new use cases and things going on. And that's sort of what we think about as a, an economy of scale, right? You, I think a good example of this loop is you think of like the DeFi summer, what happened in you know like late 2019, 2020, and through the years, you know, Chainlink revolutionised uh, like crypto price data on chain, which uh, was the cat the entire catalyst to the the DeFi boom. Right, without Chainlink, DeFi boom wouldn't have happened at all. It was that revolution that sort of helped DeFi scale as a whole. And you know, for us, it was. Um, it was crazy, you know, we've been working on this for a long time, since 2017, and whenever your people sort of ask you about what you're doing, especially like pre-mainnet, uh, you talk about it, everyone sort of thinks you was a bit crazy, and you know, like, you know, you're talking weird stuff, but uh, <laughs> like, uh, the, the whole DeFi boom and sort of the revolution of like price fees really um, sort of validated a lot of sort of how we think and sort of Chainlink as a whole, you know, it, it really uh, kicked off the, the the actual use case of, of the crypto industry. Um, you know, the, for us, like the progress and what we do, we've been working on this a long time and thinking about different problems and how we can help uh, scale and lower the barrier of, of entry for the, for the Chainlink network is, you know, there's plenty of things that we've worked on over the years. Um, obviously being a node operator is a core part of that. We're one of the biggest ones. We're proud to do what we do across all the networks on Chainlink. There's, Know, plenty of other things from a lot of the open source tooling that we do with like new adapters which you know, drive new use cases and sort of more of the um, like uh, sort of you know client facing work that we do for them guys to actually bring on new things on chain uh, like Thorle has been an example of one with overtime markets and sort of uh, like binary options um, but yeah like recently you know with market.link that was a powerful tool for us uh, to have like a window into the chainlink network really creates a, an aspect of transparency that you know 
it sort of really helps people visualize the growth and, and how Chainlink sort of scale and, and has grown over the years. Um, and you know, like for, for us over the next six to 12 months, like I always keep on saying this, it's, you know, it's a pivotal moment for us. We often say like the past four to five years that we've been building has been leading up to you know, the, the amount of growth and scale that we're gonna see over the next two years and beyond. So it's, it's all about how we um, sort of execute on the, you know, the fundamental ideas that sort of create the business in the first place, which leads me on to the, the next slide. So, you know, it's the staking platform. Obviously, we've been thinking about crypto economics for a, a long time on the Chainlink network. So sort of hence the name of, of, of the company in the first place. Um, you know, for us, seeing all the announcements and sort of the run-up of Economics 2.0 and what Sergey talks about in the presentation yesterday is, is very exciting. You know, we see sort of the, the increased security and the value within um, Economics 2.0 being a, a, a big step uh, within the Chainlink network. And really, you know, we're happy to sort of uh, create our vision and independent ideas on sort of how we can sort of build on that and really sort of propel Chainlink and, and increase the, the security and value. Um, so to talk about us and sort of what we've, um, how we've positioned ourselves, like we really see ourselves as an index on Chainlink growth. Um, sort of like we've got, you know, our fingers in every pie, uh, so to speak. And, you know, we do that really because, you know, we've made a big bet on Chainlink. We see ourselves being, um, you know, a, a catalyst to, you know, infrastructure players and really the, the, the next steps in, in blockchain adoption, which Chainlink is going to power. Like if you think about um, CCIP and, and everything that's coming on with like message buses and, you know, the, the pioneering efforts, um, it's great that we're on the forefront of that and thinking of sort of new ideas and sort of help the, you know, the community and, and uh, the ecosystem in general grow. Um, Chainlink is, you know, it's the, the service mesh really of, of the blockchain sort of world. And, and really, if you think about the, the next iteration, the, the next cycle of blockchain in general, you know, the, the infrastructure development really is going to become from, from simple UX with like cross chain messaging and, and token bridges and really a unified experience because, you know, it's an easy example to think of. If you think of like the, um, like the price feeds and the DeFi boom, that was all because it was easy for Chainlink, for developers to use Chainlink on chain with like price feeds and, and different types of data. And if you think of CCIP and how that's gonna unify like cross chain messaging, it's the exact same you know, premise. It, developers don't have to worry about actually building infrastructure anymore. It's all about just building apps and new use cases, which is uh, you know, it's the, the whole play here. And for us to be at the forefront of that and to do what we do and think of new ways of lowering the barrier of entry, essentially, creates an economy of scale, which is, you know, we're super proud of, of what we do. Um, it's, you know, it's crazy to, like, this, to, to see people here and over the years that we've been doing this, like Linkpool started as a bedroom project, it got traction, um, and a lot's happened since. And, you know, for, for all the team to be here and watching and sort of the, the experiences that we've had over the past couple of days, you know, it's, it really is great to see. So I suppose thank you for everyone that have been, has been supporting and following us over the years. Um, you know, I really do appreciate it. Just meeting everyone here as well and, and doing you know, a smart kind of person and, and everything else, it, it really is great. Um, you know, the, the next six to 12 to 24 months for us is, is gonna be pivotal in, in terms of like how we do and approach things and, and thinking about uh, creating new use cases and how we um, can help Chainlink scale onto new networks and everything else and really sort of just, you know, allow Chainlink to grow and, and, and capture and re, um, sort of um, energize like the, the adoption of, of new use cases. So, you know, for us, three quote focus, so it's a, a, essentially a, a simplified roadmap, but, you know, it's the, the core principles for us. Um, you know, what we've just talked about with the, the ideas of the, the staking platform self-service, which again is in empowering a, an economy of scale and allowing developers to just use Chainlink um, and sort of get on with what they need to do to build their apps. Data analytics, which is how we can sort of analyze what is going on and the, the usage to be able to help people further, to make it easier to, um, to onboard people onto Chainlink basically. And 
even internally as well in, in terms of how we manage infrastructure and really having a global presence, which is the next step up for us because it makes us more reliable, it allows us to scale more and really sort of, again, be well positioned to be able to, uh, um, to adopt to the scale that we're you know, looking to see years and, and, and beyond. Um, so the team, you know, I mentioned this before, but the, the team is, is in the audience. It's the first time we've all got together. You know, we've had a, uh, like an offsite prior to this event. It's only a subset of the team on this slide. Um, but you know, if you see us hanging around um, and anything else, just feel free to uh, say hello and ask any questions. But you know, for us, it's, it's amazing really to be part of this and to do what we do. And you know, again, thank you to uh, everyone you know, his familiar faces and, and people I've met over the years and everything else. Um, to be part of Chainlink and to, 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 to be in the position that we're in is, is, really, is really good. So, um, yeah, thank you. You know, if, if, if you're new to LinkPool and everything that we do, feel free to follow us. Um, I've got around three and a half minutes left. Uh, I can keep talking about some things, but, you know, feel free to ask, a, ask me any questions you know, after, after the presentation. But, yeah, thank you. Thanks to uh, everyone again. Thank you. Yeah, there is time for us to take a couple questions from the audience, if there is any. Or Johnny, do you want to? Actually, I have a real, uh, a pretty quick question, which is I think market.link is a really cool project. If you guys haven't seen it, please uh, check it out. So how do you see market.link continue to develop as the Chainlink ecosystem and uh, services grow even bigger? Sure, it's a good question. Um, obviously, a, a simple one is, is sort of growing market.link with the new networks that Chainlink supports. Um, you know, Solana is a key example of that, for example, because we currently only support EVM chains because of the, the technical uh, complexity, but also things like CCIP and the new initiatives that Chainlink are going to do. You know, for us, um, like providing that level of like transparency and window into the Chainlink network is, is very important. And, you know, it allows us, again, to just um, like evaluate the data and, and best position ourselves in terms of like how we can help grow the network further. Johnny, thanks very much. Just wanted to know, have you got yep. any advice for going zero to one from, like you said, the bedroom sort of node operation to building out a company like Linkpool? Um, it's a good question. Um, you know, you have, I suppose you have to put in the graft <laughs> to do something like this. Really having um, like strong beliefs and a vision, sort of a, a core philosophy and ideas is always really, um, you know, it's, it's the bedrock, really, of doing something successful. Um, you don't want to jump from one thing to the next. You know, you'd really have to sort of act and do something that you really believe in. So it gives you the passion to really sort of drive, you know, like innovation and, and what you want to do in that space. You know, it's you know, you just want to sort of stay in the same position and almost like build a mortar around yourself to make sure you can actually, you know, like execute on your vision and what you're looking to do. Hello, um, MP over in uh, Telegram over here wants to know <laughs> if uh, if staking starts over at uh, Linkpool. If what, sorry? If staking starts over at Linkpool. Um, it's not something I can really talk about today, but I mean, over the, you know, with the run up to Economics 2.0 and, you know, the, the new um, innovations with Chainlink in, in the increased security and value, you can obviously expect you know, more from us when it makes sense for us to, to do so. Uh, I think this is all the time we have. Sure. Um, and uh, feel free to take the uh, questions uh, offline. And again, let's give another round of applause to Johnny. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you.